Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with my first video about the Rayby Rolls Optical. However, I have covered the Rayby Rolls factory quite a bit, and as far as I know, the only difference, or the only main difference at least, is the optical sight that is attached to this specific model. It will of course be interesting to see what Simtech has to say about it once they have the weapon shots for this weapon nice finished. Thing. It is not finished by the time that I'm editing this video though. So now the Ryby Rolls, and this goes for both versions, comes with the bipods nice. that we otherwise associate to the support class. There is only one other weapon for the assault class that has the bipods, and that's the Heldrigel okay, Defensive. That However, in my opinion and in my experience, this is the only weapon that actually truly benefits from having the bipods, being that it is at least accurate enough to make use for it. There are some situations or certain re uh, ranges where the Heldrigel Defensive actually is good, but the accuracy gain that you get from using the bipods of the Ryberolls actually makes it worth doing so. With the Hellrigel, you are far more limited when it comes to range. Now, as far as I know, this weapon isn't all that popular, but there are a couple of areas where the Ryberolls really stands out when you compare it to other SMGs. The first thing I want to mention is the muscle velocity. This is at 520, which is more or a lot more than the other SMGs. The difference varies, of course, depending on which one you compare it with. And another area where the Ryber Rolls really is good is the first shot recoil multiplier. This is almost as low as 1. So if you want to tap fire at medium range in order to keep your accuracy, this is the weapon to go for if you want to stay with the assault class. Now the things that speaks against it is its poor hip fire, its rate of fire and a relatively low magazine size. It's good at range, but if you go up against a medic or a support player, chances are you're gonna lose anyway, because yeah, it's good for being the assault class, but not good compared to the other classes, not in general anyway. Oh, what? He's... I thought it was dead. I thought it was dead. Now, in general, again, it's pretty good at close range, but if you go up against an, an Automatico, for example, or the SMG-8, this weapon is simply outmatched. Now, that doesn't mean that you will lose every fight, but you simply have a worse weapon. And I think this is the main weakness of this weapon in general, or at least it is for me the way I play. When I play Assault, I try to be the aggressive player in our team, in our squad, meaning, well, among other things, that I will engage in a lot of close quarter combat. And for reasons partly mentioned before, this weapon isn't all that good for it. Basically, you're trading specialization for versatility. I'm alive! Can you play shotgun on this map? Actually, I was thinking about that just as you said it. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so yeah. ranged here. Mm, nah, is it really? A lot of the times you get into close range situations. Yeah, okay, when when you are on the flex, it's, that's right. But in between. Nice. Uh, nice to outgun a support with that technique. Now, as much as you see me using the bipods in this video, quite a lot actually, or well, maybe not a lot, but I do use it, this is something that I feel a bit uneasy doing. Whenever I play any first-person shooter, I really hate being stationary. I always want to be on the move, because, you know, for obvious reasons, it makes you less of an easy target. The amount of times that I've been sniped while using the bipods of the AT rocket gun, for example, I really don't even want to think about it, to be honest. Ah. And I really hope that the next Battlefield, Battlefield 2018, is not going to force me to rely on bipods for my primary class. Watch 
I love cleaning up this. I love cleaning up sea like this. But they have every other flag. Oh shit. Wait. Where are you? I'm in the middle of the fight here. They still have the flag. Oh! Let's go get it. Oh, no, oh, I didn't see him. You saved me, I think. Oh, I almost died. Oh, nice heal. Rabbit rolls is not too bad. So yeah, handling this weapon isn't all that complicated. At least not if you have some experience doing so from the past. Sometimes it's worth it to trade the close quarter specialization that you normally associate the assault class with for a little bit more versatility that you get by choosing this weapon. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. No. The antimatic cavalry, yeah. Oh, can you get me? Come on, let me see you work that needle. <laughs> Good job, man. I don't know what's wrong with my body. Hello. Oh, oh, I, oh my god. I dodged it. Nice revive. Fucking A, mate. Is he dead? No, he's still here. I got him. Oh shit! Ah! And yeah, the driver rolls optical, what a noob! Oh, thanks. Ah! Oh, he's right next to me. I'm not switching weapon.
All right, let's go this way anyway. I don't know why I can't switch weapon. Did I? Ah, never mind. Maybe this will work well. I'm right behind you guys. Nice. Nice. We have taken objective butter. Machine gun right there. On the right, on the right behind us. I have no ammo. Oh, I do have ammo. Yeah, through you. Oh, nice. The reload for this gun starts a bit slower than other weapons. It seems like, I, I believe that I'm out of...